in this video I'm going to apply a freestyle Libre sensor to my arm and activate it with the ultra human app to check my blood sugar levels on a regular basis this is called continuous blood glucose monitoring <laughs> Continuous blood glucose monitoring allows you to keep on top of your uh, health by monitoring your sugar levels in response to meals, activity and stress. I have shown uh, methods of applying the Freestyle Libre and Libre Pro sensors and have used other apps like the Glimp app. These devices that is the Freestyle Libre sensor and the Freestyle Libre Pro sensor about which I talked in the previous video are flash monitoring devices. They contain a biofilament with a sensor inside it which is applied to the back part of your arm on the triceps muscle and they monitor the glucose in the interstitial fluid. Once you implant this sensor it stays for about 14 days and you can get glucose readings by using the respective reader for the sensor. For the Freestyle Libre sensor, there is a Freestyle Libre reader and you have to activate the sensor with the reader. But now, however, in today's video, I'm going to activate it with a app on my phone. It is called the Ultra Human app. This is the Ultra Human app which I'm going to show you. and. Uh, I'm going to activate my Freestyle Libre sensor with this app. I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to apply the Freestyle Libre sensor. You've seen me do it in the previous videos. So here is a new sensor and I'm going to take out the applicator and the sensor and uh, keep it on the table like that. Keep the box aside. I've already showered and I've already shaved the skin on the back of my arm. This is the area to apply the sensor. On a dry skin, I take an alcohol swab like that, clean this area on the back of the arm. Remember, I have shown you how to apply the sensor. It is applied on the flat surface of your arm, upper arm, preferably on the inner side. And the way to apply this is like this, you know. You bend your arm to so that the desired arm the hand is touching the shoulder and uh, you have easy access to the back of the arm with your other hand. So you can do it for both sides. You can do it on the right side or on the left side. It is better to cycle it from one arm to the other. So today I am going to try it out on the right arm. I have already shown several videos of where I have used it on the left arm. So now this is the sensor. I open this pack. This sensor is here. And this is the applicator as you know. I am going to open the applicator pack. This is the applicator. And uh, in the applicator there is this slot. This slot here. This slot needs to be lined up with the line over here. With the line over here. And uh, now I am going to plunge the applicator into the sensor like that. The plunger has been plunged into the sensor and when I remove it, the sensor comes loaded onto the applicator and the sensor box which was is now empty. Now I am ready to apply the sensor to the back of my arm. So remember this is the position and uh, I take the sensor, uh, take the applicator, keep it at the desired position on the flat surface of the arm, more towards the inside and press the applicator. Hold it for a few seconds. And now I am ready to remove the applicator. 
the sensor has been applied. It is adherent to my skin now and the applicator is now free. I set that aside. Now I am going to secure this uh, sensor to my arm by taking my index finger and pressing down on the adhesive at the periphery of the sensor. So at this stage, after applying this sensor, normally what has to be done, I'm going to show you that now. So let's put the sensor and uh, the applicator aside and uh, take the freestyle. This is what you would normally do. This is the freestyle Libre uh, reader. So I'm going to press and uh, switch it on. And uh, there is an option here. It is on now. Start a new sensor. So I'm going to press on that option. Start a new sensor. And scan sensor. So I'm going to scan it over the sensor. You heard that noise. New sensor starting up and the readings will be available after 60 minutes. So this is the normal thing which you will do with the in the traditional manner using the Freestyle Libre reader to read get the reading from the Freestyle Libre sensor. Now I'm going to show you the alternative methods of getting the readings. So I showed you the app before and uh, this is a free app Ultra Human app, it is available in the App Store of both Android and uh, uh, um, Apple. So here in this app, you have, when you open this, this is the interface you are provided with. Uh, there is a, get the Ultra Human MI, that is a paid version. You don't need to go into that. So the second option here is... Uh, have a biosensor start now. So I have a biosensor. I'm going to press on that option. Biosensor already on. Okay. Biosensor is already on. So I hold the phone where the NFC is. So you should, their NFC should be switched on in the phone. So to do that, go to the settings and uh, turn on the NFC. So NFC is on over here. So NFC is on. I take the phone and keep it over the sensor. I heard two vibrations. And the sensor is now warming up. It will be ready in 57 minutes. And that's it. Sensor has been activated by the app also, Ultra Human app also, and I will get the readings on a continuous basis. I don't have to take the reader to the sensor anymore. I can get the readings on the phone itself. So this is the second way of uh, activating your sensor with the Ultra Human app. The other methods you might be familiar with is uh, by using the Glimp app. I'll show you that once again. So this is the Glimp app. I'll upload a video on how to use the Glimp app to record your uh, glucose levels. The sensor is starting up and we will get readings from the Glimp app later on. So that's it. This is the third method. I open this pack. I'm now going to check my capillary blood glucose with the traditional manner using Freestyle Libre Optium blood uh, glucose strips. So this is a, I'm going to place, a, I'm going to load a fresh stillet. I'm taking a fresh lancet, placing it in the lancet gun, applying the cover. and turning the depth of the lancet to the desired position. I use uh, four and a half and then it is important to change the lancet for every glucose measurement. Otherwise I've seen that if I use it for once or twice uh, with the same lancet, 
I tend to get some pain in the fingers and this can lead to infection. I'm taking an alcohol swab and uh, cleaning the index finger here. Before that, I will take my strip. This is the freestyle glucose strip. Take a fresh strip and uh, I showed you the reader, Freestyle Libre reader. It also doubles up as a glucometer. So I'm going to open this glucose strip and insert this into the glucometer. It is now ready to record my blood glucose level. Load the lancet. I have not had my lunch yet. It's around 3 p.m. There's a drop of blood. My glucose level is 105 milligrams and uh, with my lunch I hope it will not plateau. I have set my time and target levels. I don't eat a carbohydrate rich lunch. With that I don't get spikes of blood sugar. So this is my present glucose readings and I'll see if it tallies up with the readings from the ultra human app. Now I can remove this uh, strip. It will get noted here and I can use this reading to calibrate my glucometer in the app. That is the ultra human app. An hour has elapsed since I applied the sensor. I am going to check my sugar levels first with the traditional freestyle Libre reader. So I am applying the reader. You heard the bleep and I've just had a meal so it is 127 milligram per 100 ml. Next I'm going to check it with the ultra human app. This is the ultra human app which I showed you. So you have to hold it till you get uh, two vibrations and the current glucose level on the ultra human app is uh, 109 milligram per deciliter. So there is a variation between the two between the ultra human app and the Freestyle Libre app. We'll try this once again. So it is 128. It's showing a consistent value whereas these are the 108 and now I'm going to check it out with the Glimp app. So we heard a noise over there and the Glimp app is showing 110 milligram per deciliter. You can see that reading here 110. So they are almost in union so probably the average glucose value may lie around 115 milligram uh, but they take time. Hope that information was useful. If you did give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.